There are 65 hectares of degraded land areas and others troubled by gully erosions in Gombe State. Hassin has been restored with another 35 hectares or more expected to be recovered by the end of 2024 through the federal government aquasol intervention. Charles Alpha reports. At the heart of the northeastern states in Nigeria is Gombe, a place where every landmark narrates the tale of a community striving for peace, economic prosperity and development. Yet, over 200 active gullies creating a tapestry of degradation and devastation have confronted promising communities with humanitarian crisis of animal scale. From the Federal College of Education Technical Railway Corridors, through seven densely populated low-income dwelling surviving communities, including Bindiga and Bima sandstone substrate, the gullies have destroyed farmlands, residential buildings and divided communities. Each rainfall triggered widespread panic, causing businesses to halt, children missing school and expectant mothers on their due date helpless with the roads completely cut off. About 8,640 persons from 720 households were reported to be directly at risk of losing their houses. It was also estimated that over 1.4 million people from the two immediate local government councils of Gombe and Ako were at risk. But just when hope seemed lost, the federal government, through its agroclimatic resilience in semi-arid landscapes, Acrisol, a federal government project supported by the World Bank, intervened. This intervention came in the form of concrete work and backfilling, structural and non-structural, solid and flexible, as well as engineering and bioengineering control measures of a 21-kilometer drainage for these areas. God just support us through Acrisols. He supported us to clean our tears. When they came, we were thinking whether they were, they were joking, whether they were just playing. Yeah, we used to have a lot of challenges in the past as a result of uh, this gully. Yes, but if okay, it rain, um, it's actually going to cause flooding and it will make it difficult for our children to pass through the, the gully. Now everything is uh, it's okay. I want to thank Acresal for bringing this intervention to our community. With 65 hectares of land restored so far, access roads have been opened, some farmlands restored with social economic activities returning to the affected communities. Not only has the federal government restored 65,000 degraded land in Gombe State, it is also growing seeds for afforestation across affected areas with the people encouraged to plant trees to green more areas and mitigate flood and the erosion menace. Because we have 45 beds, each bed contains uh, uh, 1,000. So that's 45,000 Sydney we have here. Charles Alpha. NT News.